that there is an uh, aspect of femininity or masculinity associated with the scientific discipline uh, doesn't make sense to me. Um, I think stereotypes around that are deeply unhelpful for, for making those scientific areas the best that it can be, uh, because thinking that physics is masculine and biology is feminine means that people will start to think about, uh, well, maybe that's not the right area for me to do work. And, and we should remember that some of the biggest contributions in different areas of science actually come from people working across disciplinary boundaries as well. So it all sort of starts to fall apart when you realize that, well, actually some of the best geneticists were physicists originally. And so what those people move fields and, and cross-pollination from field to field is absolutely essential for new ideas in biology to take place, and new ideas in physics to take place. And increasingly in academic research, we're seeing boundaries between these disciplinary areas fall down because you have uh, people that are doing biophysics or materials uh, biology. The methods are going to blend in, in due course. Uh, there's value in having many different methods that are taking place. Those methods aren't intrinsically uh, one way or another. There's not some uh, feature that means that if you're doing a certain type of method, that means it's masculine or that means it's feminine. Um, it just doesn't make sense to me.